everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is Pam Gregory with United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore, and I wanted to share something fun that our team's going to be doing for you over the coming weeks or however long you guys like it and want us to keep it going. Um, many of you know we have a very exciting children's reading program called Imagination Library. We partnered with the Dolly Parton Foundation on this uh, about seven and a half years ago, almost eight years ago, um, and now have over 4,200 little ones aged birth to five uh, who are getting free books in the mail just like this uh, every single month for free, uh, home delivered right to them. And this is a really awesome program because it inspires little ones to read, it creates that important family engagement, and uh, even most importantly, it's helping these little ones be ready for kindergarten. Uh, and the test scores show it. These kids that are in, in this program are more ready to learn, um, not just with uh, reading and comprehension skills, but with other skills across the board too that the KRA assesses. So um, we wanted to try to uh, bring some fun into everybody's households as we're all cooped up these days. And uh, each week on Mondays and Wednesdays, our team is gonna share a reading time with one of our featured books from the program. What's really awesome about this too is that Dolly Parton herself is going to be having Thursday night bedtime story and also reading some of the collection books uh, every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And that's going to be streamed um, live on Facebook and these other social media uh, through the imaginationlibrary.com site. And we will share those links so that everybody knows how to connect to those two. So uh, without further ado, I chose to start us off with one of the favorite series, um, Llama Llama. Uh, when my little one, my girls, who are now adults, uh, were little, we loved to read books about llamas um, by a different author, Is Your Mama a Llama, was one of our all-time faves. Um, but we love the Llama Llama stories, and uh, I think that Llama Llama Loves to Read is the perfect way to start off our reading series. So here we go. I'll do my best to make sure I'm trying to keep glares off and keeping the photos easy to see. So Llama Llama Loves to Read. This book is by Anna Dudney, I'm, pardon if I'm saying her name wrong, and it's illustrated by J.T. Morrow. And for little ones, illustrated means that that's who did the really awesome drawings. So Miss Anna and Reed Duncan actually um, wrote the words and J.T. Morrow made the pictures to go to the words and together it puts together a really awesome story. Um, another tip here, just so you know, for the Imagination Library, many of the books come with reading guides for parents or siblings or whoever, grandparents, whoever's sharing the book with the child. And it's really neat because it gives you some really cool tips on how to read um, and interact with a child of any age. Um, so here we go. Llama Llama loves to read. I love all those letters. I'm a Scrabble nut, so I especially love letters. All right. Can you see that? All right, cool. So Llama Llama learns at school, counting, writing, reading rules. There's the letter A they're working on today. Friends and school, there's nothing better. Llama learning all the letters. Letters make a special set. That set is called the alphabet. Llama knows the first one, two, three. He can say them A, B, C. And then there's D and next an E and it goes on to X, Y, Z. There's all the letters in the alphabet. Very cool picture. No two letters are the same, but every letter has a name. It can be said, it can be heard, and letters together make a word. We have A-N-T that makes ant, and B-E-E -E that makes B, and C-A-T that makes cat. Very cool. Llama Llama learning words, since he's seen, some he's seen and some he's heard. Some he has to memorize with his brain and with his eyes. Llama Llama knows that one. He can read it. This is fun. He can read that word. It's sun, S-U-N. Look at all the friends learning to read together. Llama Llama writes his name. And once again, just the same. First an L, then an L, then an A-M-A. -A. What do all these letters say? Llama, llama. He has a silly name that's the same, isn't it? Something to make a present of. L-O-V-E, love. And look what he wrote here. Llama, llama, loves mama. 
Words make rhythm, words make rhyme, words make books for story time. Words tell truth, words tell new things, words make songs that we can sing. Words are the very best of presents, words together make a sentence. Llamas' hooves wave in the air. Some words are hard. It's just not fair. No need to frown. No need to pout. Just do your best and sound it out. No need for crying, moaning, bleeding. Llama, llama, hooray for reading. And bleating, that's a silly word. That is the sound that goats make when, or pardon me, llamas make when they are a little upset. Teacher holds the walking sign. Now it's time to make a line. How does llama know? Llama llama know? G and O spell go, go, go. There's the big go sign. They're all standing in such a nice line. Do you do that at school, little, little guys? I bet you do, I bet you do a great job. Lots of sentences, take a look. Strung together, make a book. And welcome to the library. Libraries are full of books. Look inside, oh, what glory. All those words have made a story. Llama reads so many things. Fairy princess, pirate kings, shiny knights and dragon fights, under seas and up great heights. Look at all the stories and imagination going with those stories. Very fun. Back to class and off they go, filled with all the words they know. Skipping, hopping, walk in line, Llama Llama sees that sign. And on that sign, what does he see? One S, one T, one O, one P. Stop. Llama knows that word says stop. No more skipping, no more hops. Llama reads the word out loud. Llama Llama feeling proud. Very fun when we know our words. School is over, the day is done. Llama had a lot of fun. Who can't wait to read to Mama? You're a reader, Llama Llama. Look how proud he is. Words have magic power indeed. What else could a person need? There we go. What a great story. And a great reminder how words do have power. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in learning more about Imagination Library or signing your child up, you can visit us at uwles.org slash Imagination Library. There's also ways to help make sure we can continue to provide this to other local children too. So stay tuned for more uh, stories from our team and also for the links that we will share to watch Dolly have bedtime stories each Thursday over the next, I think it's 10 weeks. Thanks and have a wonderful day, everybody. Stay in and be well.